Happy Tuesday, July 6, 2021, the semifinals of the 2020 Euros and Italy versus Spain. This is a match I was looking forward to, and it did not disappoint, to be honest. It had everything that you wanted to have. Italy being significantly the most exciting team left in the tournament. Obviously, Spain has great build-up play, a lot of control in the middle. It can't necessarily always put away the ones that are on the plate. Italy finds a way to get them in. I was surprised to find that Italy was going to win in penalties with a 1-1 to -one regulation score. Let's really get into this. This Italian team is very dynamic up top. One of the things I stated in my last review was that Spain, one of Spain's biggest vulnerability is running in between their lines. It's always been their issue in this tournament. They go from the outside, they pull you out wide, then they cut in between your two center backs and they play the offside run. And it almost, without failure, seems to work against this team. You get them spread out, then you cut them open in the middle. And that's what happened. As a matter of fact, this game, they decided to start Chiesa, Immobile, and Insigne. But Chiesa was the one that got the first goal. In the 60th minute, the ball went out to the left. Chiesa ran in the middle, the ball couldn't cross, he ran in between at the top of the 18 between both of the center backs, gets the ball, pulls it back, essentially two to three players around him, rips it far post. The shot was great, but the problem was he got too much time and too much of a vulnerable space for, for Spain. They're down 1-0. And I have to say at the beginning, Italy was, well at the beginning of the game, actually Spain was attacking Italy, then vice versa. It was going back and forth. It was a very fast game until you got into extra time. But before we got there, Morata did not start in this game. As a matter of fact, he came off of the bench. But Daniel Motores and Oyarzabal were the ones up the three up top with Pedri, Busquets, and Koke. By the way, Pedri, Busquets, and Koke had a great game. That is a midfield. Pedri is a thing of beauty to watch. He is going to be a significant star moving forward. The way he controls the field at such a young age, you've got to give this guy credit. But moving on, Alba Morata in the 80th minute, and you saw Spain pounding on the ball. They, he gets the ball in the midfield, and he starts attacking that back line. Now, the one thing that Italy does is they don't like to commit too many people to someone with the ball, right? Especially when you're playing against Spain, who has such a significant amount of possession. But what Morata did right was he attacked the defenders, forcing them to collapse. Three defenders to collapse on him. As soon as they did, he gave it to a streaking give-go pass, gets it on the left side, inside the box, taps it away, one-to-one. -one. And you believed, because Italy was getting gas. you believed that Spain might be able to get another goal in, in regulation. They were on fire. They were doing This Italy team was gassed. One of the things with being, making so many offensive runs is that they start to gas out as things get going. Now, that's not where the game ended. And Spain... They always need to be. Uh, they always need to be concerned with the counterattacks. But once Italy got slow, it was just the counterattacks were not as significant. Matter of fact, once we get into the end of the game, and I think right before regulation, too, Chiellini did have like an arm touch in the box that could have been a cheap call given to Spain in the 91st minute of regulation, one time, one minute extra time, but they didn't, which I think was fair. But imagine if they would have called that, the game would have been over, Spain would have won. So at the end of regulation, Spain has 68% of possession, 12 shots, three on target, versus Italy's 32% possession, six shots, but four on target. They were threatening inside. Now, Danny Olmo, when he attacks space, he does a great job, but he gets the advantage and then he passes either off or he doesn't let go of the ball too soon, so then it's off sides. In extra time, Italy looked exhausted, really. Spain was getting a lot of the opportunities. They had posts. They just weren't going in. They had a lot of opportunities in extra time. But what happens? We go to penalties. When we get to the penalties, you know, first of all, Spain has just got a problem here, you guys. This is, they cannot finish a game in regulation. They're always taking themselves to penalties. And that's fine if you're a good penalty team, but we already know what happened in their last game. So Spain steps up for another penalty. Luckily, Italy started, Locatelli missed the first shot. Actually, it was blocked. Then Danny almost steps up and just sends it over the top post. Just sends it over the bar, right? Then you've got 
Bellotti scores, then Moreno scores, then Bonucci scores, then Thiago Altanganqueta scores, and then Bernadeschi scores, and then Morata, who is earning his way back from an up and down tournament, steps up and gets his shot blocked. Okay, what that means is you have Jorginho, one more player left. If he makes it, the game is over. Jorginho, as many people have even stated, in the Premier League, he always takes a hop and a jump before he hits, and he just waits for you to dive, and then he just puts it in whatever corner you're not in. So, of course, hop, they jump to the side, and he hit it to the right. Almost had to be fancy, right? This Italian team only fan finishes with Flash. This team, I was concerned what they were going to do without Spinazzola, but you know what? Emerson stepped in pretty good. They did a good job. This is the most exciting team left. They will meet the winner of Denmark versus England in the finals. And that game will be the champions of the 2020 European Championships. This Spanish team is going to be great for years to come. It's a very young core team that's going to have a lot of success. I'm confident about that. I think they should be proud of themselves getting to the semifinals. This Italian team has a veteran defense and a very young and at its peak aggressive offensive attack, and they've really taken advantage of it, uh, staggering who they're going to play, who's going to get the opportunity. They look hungry. Up top, they look hungry. We'll see what happens, guys. Talk to everyone soon. Hope everyone's having a good week. <laughs>